I'm Paulo Blank. I'm president at Southern New Hampshire University. We tend to talk about higher education monolithically as if there's one, but if you think about it, there is a 17-year-old going off to college, living in a residential setting, and uh, studying there for four years, sometimes more, and that's one kind of higher education. That's actually the minority of all college students today. Then there are another, you know, 37 to 40 million American adults who are working and have families. Uh, they have some college credits quite often, but they don't have a degree. And life is telling them in various ways that they have to go back and finish that degree, get a degree to move on, to do better for their families. They're not interested in coming of age. They've had all the coming of age they can handle. For them, they're a different set of drivers. I need a credential, I need to complete as fast as I can because I need to, I, I need to sort of provide for my family, et cetera. Um, so that's a different kind of higher ed. And online has just exploded, as you know. So that's really driven by adult learners. But when you talk about things like unbundling competency-based education, sometimes called CBE for short, there are over 300 institutions now working on their CBE programs. This is not a fad, this is, and some of them are very high-branded institutions like a Michigan or a Purdue or University of Texas. And I think this is really going to be a dramatic shift because when we break away from the credit hour, think about what the credit hour is really good at. The credit hour is really good at telling the world how long you sat, but it's not actually very good at telling the world what you've learned. Competence Space flips that and says, we're going to be crystal clear about what you learned and how we know, but we're going to be, we're not going to be mindful at all of time. So if you can learn fast, great. If you need more time, great, because why should that matter? What really matters, did you learn? That changes everything. That, that's, that's fundamental. That's an existential change in how we think about learning.